Good morning, boys and girls, from Council Traditional Pre-K. My name's Miss Moran, and we have Senora Davis here, our Spanish teacher, to help us get started with our good morning song. And of course, Ollie the Word Owl. Ollie, how are you? Oh, Ollie looks happy. Let's sing the good morning song, okay? All right. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Good morning, good morning, I'm fine, how are you? Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, and happy we will be, because my friends are your friends, and your friends are my friends. Here we are together, and happy we will be. Thank you. Yes. Buenos dias, Senora Buenos dias. Davis. Yes, como estas? How are you? Fine. Thank Muy you. Bien. Estoy bien. Yo estoy mm -hmm. feliz. Muy bien. Yeah, yo estoy feliz. All right. Vamos a cantar. Let's sing. All right. Buenos dias song. Good morning. Let's go. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Muy bien. Now I want to sing the days of the week. Remember the days of the week? Yes. Lunes, L for Monday mm -hmm. for lunes. Mm -hmm. M for Martes, Tuesday. Another M for Miércoles for Wednesday. And then a J for Jueves. A V for Viernes. And Sábado. It's Saturday, we stay at home, and Domingo, we rest, it's Sunday. All right, let's go and okay. sing. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, los días de la semana. You want to do it again? Yes. Uh -huh. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, Sábado, domingo, los días de la semana. Bien, días de la semana, days of the week. Muy bien. Now, should we sing los colores, the yes. colors? Yes. Yes. Um, let me tell um, before we sing a little story. Yes. All right. Oh, nice. So this is my colors, mis colores. All right. So this is by Rebecca Amberly. This is the author of the book. That's the back of the book. All right. And we're going to open. It's a little thick, the book. My Colors, Miss Colores, Rebecca Amberly. All right. So red is rojo. Say rojo. red is rojo. Red is rojo. So una manzana is an apple. La manzana mm -hmm. is roja. Say, la manzana es roja. Muy bien. Oh, amarillo. Amarillo is yellow. Yellow is amarillo. Can you say amarillo? Amarillo. Amarillo. Can you make a Y for yellow? Yeah. El sol. Pum. El sol. S-O-L. El sol es. You can do sol like that too. Es amarillo. Muy bien. I love el sol. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Blue is azul. azul. El pez. El pez es azul. Qué lindo el pez. How pretty is the fish I love. Oh. Verde is green. Can you say verde? Verde, verde is green. La rana, la rana, la rana. La rana is the frog. It's verde, green, jeep, green. Purple, purple is morado. Make a P. Purple is morado. The snail, el caracol. El caracol is morado. Morado. All right. Anaranjado is orange. Can you say anaranjado? Remember, squeezing the orange. The juice is so sweet. Anaranjado is orange. La Flor, la flor, the flower is anaranjada. Muy bien. Next page. Negro. If you close your eye, you see all black. So 
look what you see when you close your eyes. Negro, yeah. negro is black. black. Yeah. El cuervo, that is a bird. El cuervo is a crow. Ca, ca. El cuervo, negro. Can you do negro? Negro. Close your eye. What color negro. do you see? Negro. Okay. I wonder if we could find the colors around this room. Café. Café is brown. Café. Helado. Oh, the caterpillar ate that. La oruga yes, ate did. that. Yes, and did. La Manzana too. Mm -hmm. The app, I remember mm -hmm. that. If you see something the caterpillar ate, let me, yes. let me know because I okay. think he ate that. Blanco. Blanco is la nieve. La nieve es blanca. El copo de nieve. Snowflake. Muy bien. Now I want to sing the Los Colores with you, the color song. And it's go like that. Red is rojo, red is rojo, blue is azul, blue is azul, yellow is amarillo, yellow is amarillo, verde, green, verde, green, black is negro, black is negro, blanco is white. Blanco is white, purple is morado, purple is morado, brown café, brown café. Pink is rosa, pink is rosa, gris is gray, gris is gray. A naranja is orange, a naranja is orange. Shout hurray, viva! Shout hurray, viva! Muy bien. Now, what else you want to sing, Miss Moran? Um, think about Mother's Day. Oh, oh Mother's Day. Mi familia. Ah, oh, my Mi familia. family. I love that song. Do you know how to say mother in mama. Spanish? Mama. 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 In sign language, is right here, mama. mama. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's go talk about La Familia. Do you know how to say daddy? Papa. Papa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, how about mi familia, mi familia, mi, mi familia, mi familia, ma, ma, papa. papa. How do you say brother? Hermano. Hermano. His sister? Her Hermana. And grandpa? Abuelo. And grandma? Abuela. abuela, so she's also a mother. Yeah, hey, you can't exactly. forget our abuela. Mm -hmm. No, abuelitas, we're not forgetting you. Mm -hmm. Ijo and I. Ijo. Can you say Ijo? Ijo. 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 All right, and then we're gonna do uncle. We're not gonna do sign language, no. We're gonna dance. <laughs> Tio. When you say your uncle, you're so happy. Tio. And Tia, Tia. you just gonna give her a hug. And the mm -hmm. children will be the cousin, the mm -hmm. boy cousin will be primo. primo. And then the girl cousin will be prima. prima. And then you say again, Ijo. Ijo. Bien, let's do the song without mm -hmm. stopping. Let's go, yes, you like thank it? You. Yes. All right, let's go. Mi familia, mi familia, mi familia, mi familia, papa, mama. Hermano, hermana, abuelo, abuela, bebe, shh, sh, bebe, shh, sh. tío, tía, primo, prima, y yo, y yo. Bien, don't forget, you are the very important person in your family, the yo person, the I person. How are you today? Are you feliz today? I hope so, boys and girls. Um, any other song would you like to sing? Um, no, but the do you do we remember the word for caterpillar and butterfly? Oruga. Oruga. Sign language oruga. But we're gonna do oruga. Because she crawls everywhere. She's yes. everywhere. Yes. All over the place. <laughs> but then she gets like in the cocoon and then and then capullo, and then later on it opens, and she gets to be changed in beautiful mariposa. mariposa. And they like mariposa. to go in Las Flores and kiss. That's a flow right there. 
La okay, Mariposa. So. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right, so let's go over the vocabulary we learned yesterday, and we're going to review, and then we're going to add some more. All right. Okay. So il, we learned about a lunes. That would be Monday. She ate una manzana. Can you say una manzana? Una manzana. manzana. Lunes, Monday, she ate this. At least it was just one. The next day, oh, she said, tengo hambre. I'm so hungry. Tengo that hambre. is martes. Tuesday, remember? She ate dos. Dos peras. Peras. Dos peras. Dos peras. And then on the next day, she got to be, tengo hambre. I'm so hungry. And she ended up eating tres. Ciruelas. It's a little fruit that's. Purple, morada. Morada. Yeah, so she had tres. Uno, tres. Dos, tres. Tres. And that was, let's say, lunes, martes, mm -hmm. miércoles, Miercoles. she ate tres ciruelas. Okay? And then on the fourth day, let's go, lunes. Lunes. That's the first day, martes, martes. Tuesday. And that's martes. the second day. And then miércoles, the third miércoles. day. And then this is jueves, J for jueves. She ate cuatro, uno, dos, dos tres, tres, cuatro fresas, fresas, strawberries, fresas. four strawberries. She's getting hungry every time. <laughs> She's gonna be big. I hope you're not eating too much. <laughs> All right, and in the fifth day, there was viernes, yes. Friday, make a V, big V yes. for viernes. She ate. Cinco, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco naranjas, oranges. Naranjas. Yeah, remember naranjas. squeezing the oranges, beautiful sweet juice. All right, okay. now we're going to be learning the new vocabulary. Okay. All right, this is pepinillo. She is going to eat pepinillo. Okay, okay. so you ready? So uh, tell yes, I am. Go ahead and say what the pickle is. Right. Okay. Pepinillo. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I appreciate Have fun. it. All right. Bye bye. Adios, amigos. Adios. Ah. Ollie just told me something. Ollie the word bird. Do you want to? Do you want to tell me again? Ollie found someone outside today. Ollie the word bird found someone. I wonder who he found. He says it's going to be a surprise. Okay, Ollie. Well, let me read the book, and then we'll find out who you found outside today, okay? All right. This is called The Caterpillar and the Pollywog, and it's by Jack Kent. Guess what? Jack Kent is the author. Jack Kent is the illustrator. That's three days in a row that we have found authors that have drawn their own pictures. I love it when the authors draw their own pictures. Makes it very, very special. Title page. Oh. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older, we get bigger, especially hippopotamuses, but not caterpillars. They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not, is a thing that just anybody can do. It's not a thing. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. Well, that's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. Uh, I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the pollywog. What fun, said the pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. You will, said the fish. All pollywogs do. What am I going to turn into, the pollywog said. 
but the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. The fish knows what the pollywog is going to turn into. When I grow up, said the caterpillar who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the pollywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the pollywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised, she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the pollywog told her. Fish know things. They go to school. The caterpillar was upset. Oh man, I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. Well, what are, what are we going to turn into, the pollywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then, I guess I will too, said the pollywog. What fun, let's do it together. All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone, but I get to go first. The pollywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. See her spinning? The pollywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said, and when I come out, I will be what, boys and girls? Butterfly. Go ahead, the pollywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and soon was out of sight in the cocoon. For a long time, nothing happened, but the pollywog was patient. That means he waited. He watched and he watched for days and days. Wait a minute, wait. You see what's happening? What's the pollywog growing? Legs and days and arms. At last there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened and very slowly the caterpillar climbed out. <gasps> Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. The pollywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. It, he hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. Um, you're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said as she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. A caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring or liking his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. Snip, snap, snout, this tail's towed out. Okay, Ollie, who did you find outside? Who did you find? What? What? It's Henry? Henry from the book, Caterpillar Dreams? Whoa. Hey, Henry. How are you doing? I'm going to put you down, Ollie, because I think this is going to do something special. All right, let me put you right in my lap. Do you remember what Henry turned into? You remember, boys and girls? Henry turned into... <gasps> ah, ah, takes a little while, like the chrysalis. Henry turned into a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Oh, Henry, I'm glad you came to see us today. And thank you, Ollie, for finding him. Thank you so much. All right, now we're going to go to Miss Barry, who's going to have our lesson today. And it looks like fun, Miss Barry. Looks like a lot of fun. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back. And we remember our word, caterpillar. And as yesterday, 
our caterpillar is still happy because it's in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our caterpillar is back in order and very happy. In the story of the caterpillar and the polywog, where did the butterfly go? So if you get home and get a sheet of paper and a pencil, you can draw a picture of where did the butterfly go? So in the book, we talked about how the butterfly became a caterpillar, went from a caterpillar to a butterfly, and so it got bigger. And so to the way that you understand that something is bigger is you measure it. So you've probably seen this at home, which is a tape measure, or you see the ruler at school, or you've even seen string. All of these things are used for measurement. So right here, you've probably seen these same little blocks at school and you can use them to find various items in your home that can be used for measurement. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The cereal box is 10 cubes tall and the water bottle is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, well, you know what? I think it's actually eight, eight cubes tall. And the stuffed animal is one, two, three, four, five, five cubes tall. And the canned good is one, two, three cubes tall. So you can use any form of measurement to measure how tall an item is or even how tall you are. You can have your mom and dad measure you to see how much you've grown since the beginning of the school year. All things change, humans, animals, everything changes. So boys and girls, we're gonna get ready to end our day and we are so happy that you have joined us this entire week. We've had such a great time learning with you and experiencing new things and talking about the life cycle of a butterfly and how it starts as a little egg and it becomes a caterpillar. It spins into a chrysalis and then it becomes a beautiful butterfly. So keep that in mind as you're thinking. You started as a little child and you went to pre-K and now you're about to transition into kindergarten. You've grown, so that's a big change. So you should be so excited about the big change. So that is all for us today. We've enjoyed you so much and we hope you've enjoyed our lesson as well. Thank you. So it's time yeah. to say our goodbye song. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yeehaw! Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.